Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to another video in the beautiful city of Qatar. We are going on a special adventure today with our good man. Hello, hello, my friend. How are you? Uh, Shu Ismak? Yeah. And what's your name? Asraf. Asraf, nice to meet you. Where are you from, Asraf? India. India, Keseho Baisab. Okay. Bohota cha? Same location, uh, before you send. Uh, yeah. This one, right? Uh, yes, please. We will be taking a 52 minute car ride up to Arabia Camp, I believe is the name, right? Arabia Camp? Might be, yeah. So we'll be cruising all the way up there. I believe it's uh, near Purple Island, and that's where we're gonna be cruising through the mangroves. We're actually going with a group called Via V Experiences right here on Instagram. And actually I had that on my list of things to do when visiting Qatar, so uh, it worked out perfectly because we'll be able to check out uh, their company and uh, show you guys what the experience with them is like while also doing exactly one of the things we wanted to do. So cruising up here with the usual Mabib T, which is Mabel and Habib T combined, <laughs> <a> custom nickname. <laughs> and uh, she's got the world no Mabe style on as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah guys, so we're gonna be cruising up there. Uh, so we'll see up there in about an hour it's next to a city called I want to say El Khor I think it is near El Khor and um, yeah it's uh, not too far from Doha one of the pretty common areas that people will go not just for the kayaking but also in that area there's like uh, another decent sized city that you can explore check out and I'm not sure on this uh, series visiting Qatar we'll be uh, checking out much more than just the uh, the uh, mangroves today, the kayaking, but maybe in a future video we will. So we're gonna cruise up this way and we will see you once we get there. <laughs> Look at this building we are passing by. What's the name of this building? That one? Yes, it's in Katara. Katara? Yes, it's Katara. Ah, Katara. Very beautiful. Katir, hello, Katara. So we're gonna drive right under it actually. Wow. Wow, look at these buildings right there. Maybe those are apartment buildings? They're like gray, yellow, green, orange, wow. orangish red. Oh look at this. Oh it's a medical center. Wow. That's the coolest medical center ever. And then behind it is that in, is that Lucille? Yeah. And on our way up we're seeing yet another stadium. I believe that's a stadium. And guys, we're about one minute away. We're out here in the uh, desert. It's like uh, the road's gonna end then. I know, right? Yeah. Well, hello, hello, desert. It's cool, just literally less than an hour away. You have like no buildings around us anywhere. It's pretty awesome. And here we are arriving to discover Arabia camp. Perfect. Dani Avad Baisab. All right, we're arriving to the camp. Wow. Mm-hmm. Discovered Arabia. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. All right, we got the whole squad here we're going with. Yeah. So, guys, we just arrived to the Discover Arabia campsite here. We've got a good man here from Bangladesh. What's your name one more time? Farhan. Farhan, nice to meet you. He's nice the king of drones, king of cameras. He's going to be shooting some content today. Yes, of course. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to be a good time. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have to get some recommendations from him uh, for Bangladesh, too, at some point. Because I'm hoping in a future series, guys, we'll be going to visit. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. So, guys, we're going to be going over here to load up on the uh, life jackets. So yeah guys, this is the uh, whole squad of everyone we're going with. If you guys can just repeat your names one more time. Hi, I'm Isa. Isa. My name is Innocent. Innocent. Faiha. Yeah, Faiha. Cheyenne. Cheyenne. And so the whole squad here, we're going to be going kayaking for the next, what, like two hours or so? No, actually like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? <laughs> All right. Oh, we're we're, go going, in uh, we're going, <laughs> going in 10 minutes. I was like, oh, that's a very fast kayaking trip. But yeah, sounds good. Let's get loaded up with a life jacket here. Okay. Hopefully we won't be flipping them today. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, if you don't mind, it's a bit harder with one hand. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, my love. Uh, and boom. Uh. Yeah, watch closely in case you flip yours. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because when you hold it like this, you have to use more power. So you have to make your hands wider. Then this is the part you need. Okay? This is the part that pulls All right, here we go. So we have a nice little hike to get over there. So I'm going there. Where there is it? All right. 
So we gotta cross our first river here. Our IP. We're going through. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're taking them off? Oh my god. Oh, you're gonna take them off? Uh you gotta hop up. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Gotta vlog this of course in oh case god. I fall in. Oh no no no. Uh, oh, that's it's nice. Oh, well, we'll find out I'm going through the deep end. Oh yeah, nice and warm. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Oh, my oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. All right, nice little adventure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Makes things more entertaining, then, so. That's the she has for the punishment. Yeah, yeah. So this is where we're going to be uh, entering in. And the kayaks are down this way. All right. Very beautiful. So this is the uh, mangroves. Right on the other side is Purple Island. And we're going to be cruising right through here. Flag was red and white. And then uh, they found these uh, purple shells. Yeah, they're called Marex shells. Yeah. And they're only in the, that island. Only in the whole world. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. In all of Qatar. In, in all of yeah. Qatar, let's see. Yeah. And then um, that's how they got the maroon from the, um, yeah, yeah. the flag. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. So that's the story of Purple Island. Yeah. So Very unique. I'm oh, I was wondering that. Let's try to find the shelter. I've been here since like 15 years. 15 years? I, I've, I've been here since 2007. Oh, wow, all right. I was seven years old when I came here. Mm. Wow, so you're pretty much a Qatari then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this water is so warm. Are these, uh, are these man-made? No. Okay. Because a lot of things in Qatar are man-made, so I, just, I don't know what it is and isn't. Because Pearl Island's man-made, yeah, right? Yeah. So is Lucille. Yeah. And Lucille, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's really, really warm though. And look at this beautiful, beautiful views at sunset. The kayaks are hidden right back there, so he's gonna grab them. All right, here we go. Loading up with the kayaks here. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so we're getting everyone in the water now, right at sunset. Such a beautiful time. Bumper cars, we were just at the theme park right before this, so we're ready for bumper cars. <laughs> Which theme park? Uh, the one inside Villaggio. Oh, Gondolino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I snuck my GoPro on, so I got some good footage of it. Wow. All right, guys, we have gone through a couple kayaking lessons. I've actually kayaked many, many times before, but uh, my baby is first time, so she's got the hang of it. My second time. Second time. First time in Dubai. Oh, in Dubai, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, in the, modern, in the modern countries, ultra modern countries is where we've gone kayaking yeah. together. But yeah, guys, we're going to be cruising right through the mangroves here. Such a beautiful time. Whoa, almost flipped it. And, oh, right. This way at sunset. Gonna pick up some speed here. Yalla. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta take the lead here. <laughs> Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. <sighs> here guys, they have the entire stash of kayaks just hidden right here in the mangroves. But it is so, so peaceful out here. Just 45 minutes north of Doha, you can be in nature. And if you're quiet for a second, you might even be able to hear the uh, birds chirp. Yeah. Oh, there's probably too many people around to hear the birds chirp, but... It's insane! Oh, we even got the uh, fallen ship over there. Alright guys, as you can see, I have my bell doing all the work. My paddle's right here. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, looks like we've even got a water bike right here. Look at this. The nice part about kayaking like in this type of water is there's pretty much no waves. Like it's very, very still. So you kind of just glide across what looks like glass. Look at that right at sunset. Oh my God. This right here is a great example of Qatar. You have that urban development right there. Just mixing directly in with nature here. Guys, I'll tell you, sunset is the best time to go kayaking because the temperature has dropped significantly and you just have that peaceful evening breeze right now as you watch the uh, sun light up all of the landscapes around here. All right, time to help Habib to you a little bit. Let's get some speed. Showing her how to do the uh, reverse, reverse. Sam, the sunset today, you guys are actually so lucky. Yeah, because normally it's hazy. This is insane. Normally guys. it's just light and then it's dark and then it gets dark oh wow so we are lucky we picked the right day yeah. or you guys picked the right day i didn't pick this day <laughs> oh that's purple island oh that's purple island yeah 
But like a lot of people say sometimes, like if you want good weather, like let's talk to the weatherman as a joke. But in Qatar, it's serious, right? Because you guys seed the clouds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They seed the clouds here. So if they want to make it rain, they make it rain. <laughs> it just got us up to a nice fast speed here. And look at this, guys. It's cloudy, baby. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a workout, guys. The nice part is you've seen how much food we've been eating here. Now we're making up for it and feeling the burn the burn so this is purple island right here this is purple island right here yes yeah all right yeah it doesn't look as purple as i expected <laughs> <laughs> where do we find these shells oh the shells disappeared oh, okay Ah, okay. Guys, I'm not gonna talk, but just listen. You won't be able to hear too much. <laughs> just the sweet sounds of the birds chirping. You can't hear any sounds of the city. That's what makes this time this place in Qatar is so special because they just give that relaxation the break from the busyness I don't know why I'm whispering <laughs> gotta teach her Arabic and she calls me Esteze Esteze Akid Malente Malente that means my teacher for a female. Yeah. Ru. Hey. Yeah. El. Be. Yeah. Um. Re. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Te. Yeah. Ha. Bib. Ti. Yeah. Ma. Bib. Ti. Yeah. El. Bib. Ti. Ya ma bu la. <laughs> Those are all the nicknames that have been dropped as a way to push forward. Forward march. Forward march. Oh, we're going to the island. Island god. Yeah, the islander. Wow, so pretty. <sighs> Trying to shoot the video while getting a workout in, guys. It's not as easy as it looks, but it's definitely worth the workout. Get ahead, we would be docking ahead there. We will be making landfall in just a moment. Oh yeah. We have arrived. We have made it to Purple Island. To be honest with you. Oh, they're gonna flip. Flip them. Flip them. Look at this sunset right here. Mabibti went straight to the shot. Wow. This, my friends, is Qatar. Yeah, this is this is definitely the best sunset I've seen in Qatar in the last 10 days. Stunning. Look at these. These guys are just ripping across. Speed them up! Speed them up! There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys saw when we were jet skiing in probably two videos ago, we were going very slowly because there's like all these waves, but out here you can just glide right across. But it's probably good it's not like that because we'd be going way, way too fast. I don't think Mabel's mom would be too happy. We got the Madakal drones right here. How are we looking? Oh yeah. You guys can see what Purple Island looks like from above. Oh, that's gorgeous right over there with the uh, kayaks. Just those super bright colors contrasting. Yeah, the contrast is good. Mm, yeah, that's really nice. All right, back to the kayaks. We're going to try and make it over to the mangroves. The sun has set, so I have a feeling we're going to have a pretty dark kayak ride on the way back. But uh, worth it for the shots, right? And the experience. All right, full speed ahead. Forward march. Oh, we've got competition. Let's race them. Full speed ahead. Rip them. Are 
we got big waves coming. This might flip us. <laughs> mm. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm making it. Oh. How are you doing that? I'm, I'm doing that on purpose. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Guys, so we probably have like 10 minutes left of light, but you can probably see here October 9th, we have a full moon. So it's hopefully gonna light us a nice path on the way back because we're probably going another like 10 minutes this way to get into the mangroves. But it is really peaceful filming and kayaking through here at night. Yeah, hello my love. <clears throat> Look at these incredible colors. Whoa, ho, ho. The colors. Yeah, these are next level. You guys ever seen this in Doha before or in Qatar? <laughs> I've never no. kayaked at night. Never so, kayaked at yeah, night. It's All right. Cold that we, yeah. That's amazing. Right next to your hometown too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right across the way. I always kayak in the, in the morning or like in the afternoon, but never at night. So I'm happy. Yeah. There's no, nothing beats uh, sunset time, no matter what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's Every having a meal or. Sunset. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because a lot of the times it's pretty hazy here from the sandstorms. Yeah, yeah, Is there like any part of the year where it's like uh, not as hazy? Yeah, especially from the beach area. Yeah. Uh, but like uh, November, December, th is it less hazy? Yeah, when yes, it's winter time. Ah, uh, winter time, it's okay. It's like starting from November, December until February. Uh, so it's clear like this pretty much every night. Yes, yes. Wow. We're just slowly cruising this way into the depths of the sunset. How was it over there in a sense? Good. Good? <laughs> uh, very good. It would have been nice to see it. Actually, coming back uh, is easy because the water is going. Oh, okay. Oh, so it'll be ni a nice easy cruise back then, yeah? Ah, fantastic. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm back not that week. Guys, just look at this. Such a beautiful time to be out here. Sometimes even after sunset's even better than at sunset. Because you just pretty much have like silhouettes of people in the distance. So gorgeous. Talking about you, Heidi. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're racing innocence. This? We're racing. Uh, I didn't know. Guys, as you can see, we are going through the depths the mangroves. You never know what could be in these waters at this hour. Tonight is a full moon, so we don't know if piranhas or alligators could come and eat us. Just kidding, there's no piranhas or alligators here. And it's not even scary, it's actually very relaxing and peaceful. Uh, we have officially docked up. Hey, you up? Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Oh, water? Uh, no thanks, I got some right there. All right, we're arriving back to camp. So this is the uh, campsite you come back to at night. And I think we have a little bit of tea time on this side. Karak. Oh, karak chai? Yeah, karak chai. Oh, shukran. Yes. So guys, you're looking at a very unique setup here. And what's the material called? Sadhu. So Sadhu. Yeah, each country in the Arab region has like different patterns. Mm -mm. Um, and like it represents their country. Oh, wow. That's fascinating. I never knew that. Marhaba. Keep halak. Right. Can we keep our mosquitoes? Are they getting me? Oh yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Yeah. Keep halak. Shuismak. Shuismak. Arif. Arif. Charafna. Oh, you're gonna sing. They put it on her. Oh no. You know the good thing this music. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of you. Surprise. Thank you. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's so sweet. They brought this, the, uh, we brought the singer to Qatar, and the singing brought, uh, Qatar brought the singer the singing device. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of coffee and chai here. Oh, we've got the very nice smell of wood burning right inside the tent. Ah. That is nice. It's red tea. Ooh, red tea. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is the way to get the uh, tea going right there, right next to the fire. Such a vibe. Wow. So this is where the uh, Qatari people originated from, living in these types of tents as Bedouins way back in the day. And now they've built up a massive metropolis, futuristic metropolis. So it's cool to see the heritage, though. Well, we got the Karaks being poured right there. Oh, yeah. Where are you from? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Yeah. Estuti Machan. <laughs> <laughs> Sri Lanka. 
wor world traveler. <laughs> Speaking all the languages. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. That Karak chai is uh, strong and hot. Mm. Got that 2022. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we got the party starting. All right, here we go. We got Karak chais, bro. Let's get it going. Yalla. <laughs> so our man Innocence is the musician here. We've got another one here, but I don't know if she's uh, <laughs> she's ready for tonight. <laughs> yes. Guys, let's go watch the answer. All right. Tried a little of the uh, karak chai. Mmm. Oh. oh, it's fantastic. Is it you find one Pakistani one? It's very similar to the Pakistani uh, karak chai that I had. Okay. How often do you drink karak tea? Uh, probably only when I'm in the Middle East or Asia. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Can I do? Without karakot coffee in the morning. Oh, coffee every day. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. in the morning, I must have a coffee. Without your coffee, every my day, day is not a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And, and during this hour, like evening, a karak or tea, you, you yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Because it's kind of had the habit I developed from I don't know my family, like everyone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, hey, you know you gotta you gotta keep that uh, that uh, caffeine the, levels going this, so you can have the energy. This car thingy is the most important thing. We connect with Arab people here. Yeah, yeah. Because from Asian, we, we call it tea. They call it car. Kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah that's the most important thing we connect. It's yeah. a good. It's so good. So good. Uh, hello, hello. Let's see how we get this thing started up. Hello, hello. How do we get this thing going? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Testing. Good evening, people of the desert. Tonight, we will sip Karak Chai, drink coffees, and share stories that will be remembered forever <laughs> I won't be singing tonight but uh, I gotta pass off the mic you, you sing. You sing 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 <laughs> no, I don't, I, you gotta give me a song you gotta give me a song here song request yaha bibi yaha bibi there we go you know <laughs> yalla bro you're up there we go you know all right all right <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. What a king. I'm getting stung by Okay. They love you. good.
hard to know which one <laughs> Let's go! That is Sahabte, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> multiple musicians in the group. <laughs> no, I can't sing. I can't sing. You, you can do a stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I can do an announce for us. Welcome to 2022 FIFA World Cup here in Doha, Qatar. Yeah, then, then you you supposed to go next and call someone. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. Just, just, just not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Since back on the guitar here with the little Backstreet Boys. In a sense, that was incredible. Thank you so much. You're an incredible artist and an incredible guide here. So Just really trying. appreciate I'm it. I'm not also perfect, but oh. with practice. Yeah, yeah. Practice yeah, makes perfect with everything in the world. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Stuti Machan. Bahoma Stuti. Hello. Mm -mm -mm. Some Turkish coffee to finish off here, guys. And so guys, we just got in the car and we will be heading back to Doha now. We'll see you once we get to the hotel. And boom, guys, we have just made it back to the hotel. And that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming with us up to the mangroves kayaking excursion today. And a special thanks to Via V for taking us with and inviting us on this trip. And if you guys want to check them out, go on this excursion as well. Look down in that description below and you can find the link directly to this activity. So guys, thank you so much for watching as always, and we will see you in the next video.